Mr. Sawane. Yes. Um, is Competence Company Limited registered with GPPA? Yes. It, this is um, the Gambia Procurement, Public Procurement Authority? Yes. You have your certificate of registration? Yes, but not with me here. Yes, you, you'd be required to bring it. No problem. Where else are you registered? Hmm? Are you registered? If I'm, your, if I'm registered. Are you registered uh, with um, Gambia Revenue Authority? Gambia Revenue, yeah, absolutely, yes. Yes, you have your TIN number? <laughs> yes. And you've been paying your taxes? Uh, yes. All right. Okay. You'd be required to bring your tax clearance, hmm? okay. your tax records right. for the period um, 2012, the as, um, 2012 yeah. to 2016. All right. Are you making note? Okay. Period 2012 to 2016. Mm. Um, you say you're registered with GPPA. In all the contracts that you have with the Office of the President, did mm. any of them go to tender? I have no idea, to be honest. Did you have to bid for any of the works you carried out at the office of the president? I'm only asked to submit cost estimate, which I comply. You have told us about yes. how you were able to secure these three contracts. Mm. Now, you also told us that there were other works that you have done and you're going to compile them and bring them. Mm -hmm. Now, my question to you is, mm -hmm. did you ever have to bid for any work at the office of the president? Mm. Well, to attend like tender opening, no. Could you repeat your answer, please? I didn't get that. Um, no, in normal procedure, you know, some other contracts, yes, you'll attend tender opening. I should think my question is a simple, straightforward one, Mr. Sawane. Did you ever bid for any contracts of the contracts you my executed at the office of the president? Did you bid for any of them? My understanding is that some uh, requests are given to other companies. I, I, I yes or no, did you bid for any contracts at the office of the president? No. Thank you. Um, you have connections at the office of the president? What do you mean? Which, what kind of connection? Why, why do they call you? There are other contractors, but each of these contracts, you said you were called. Yes. Why? why what, were the, what are the circumstances? I guess it has to be the quality competence company delivered. Sorry, I, I mean, I, everybody... I, I'm not hearing what you're saying. I said, I guess it has to do with the quality, you know, company, uh, uh, competent company delivered. The quality of? Work. The quality of work we do. I'm listening, sorry. I'm listening, you're trying to explain. No, I, I, you said why, you know, they call company, com, uh, competent company. Um, I think something's wrong with the mic, yes. Something is wrong with the I mic. Would, yeah, yeah. Yes, maybe if you speak more, uh, mm -hmm. a little bit louder, just mm -hmm. raise your voice a little bit, we'll hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I just want to understand, the circum you, you've explained the circumstances of all these contracts. You receive phone calls and you're asked to submit a costing, which you did. Mm -hmm. I, you don't go to tender, although you are, re you are registered with GPPA. These contracts were not tendered. Mm -hmm. So why do you think these contracts were awarded to you without tender? Mm, to be honest, I think it has to do with the quality of work. You know, we, 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 we deliver or we execute. Hmm. Do you bid for any work in government? Um, yes. Can you give us works that you carried out for the other parts of government which you submitted tenders?
uh, gum works. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Gum works. Gum works. Yes. You execute gum works contracts. Yes. The gum tell facility at Kere One NBR. Okay. You won that on a. Yes. You you had to bid for it. Yes, I was called also that um, there is ongoing, you know, contract which, uh, you know, I went, I bought the tender document. Mm -hmm. You had to submit a tender exactly. with other contractors. Yes. Is that um, the only work you've done for GAM Works? Yes. That's the only one? Um, Yes, uh, yeah, another one that is in Mansa Congo, but this one's uh, some years back. I don't remember. So apart from this works at the office of the president and this work you have done for GAM Works, what other works um, have you done for the rest of government? Uh, currently, there is... No, during the period we are investigating, which is the period up to um, seven, um, 21st of January 2016. 2017. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bid for several, you know, um, uh, contract that is with education department. With the education department. Education department. Yes, the school building, you know, contract. Ah, okay. Yes. Where? Um, Ministry of Basic Education. Ministry of Basic Education. Yes. You built schools. Yes. Where? No, I lost to other, you know, companies. You lost to other companies. Mm -hmm. You actually competed and you did uh, not exactly. win. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, that's that's the only work you've done. You, uh, at least that's the the work you have told us is the only work you've done outside of State House. Uh, some are private, of course. Those are only private. Mm. Some are private. Yeah, yeah. Not government. Not government. Have you done private work for the ex-president? Uh, you mean out his own private? Uh, yes. Where? In Kanilai. What did you do? Renovation of uh, three-story building. What is the three-story building? Uh, that is three-deck. Well, I think there are four, four. It's a story building. Okay. What is the story building used for? It was used by military. When did you do this contract? I think from 2014. Uh, yeah, 2015, 14, 15. Did you sign a contract? Yes. Okay. You, could you kindly bring that contract with you? Absolutely. How were you paid? Cash? Yes. You were paid in cash. Yeah. How much was the contract for? Uh, four point something, but I can't remember the whole figure. I know it's 4.5. 4.5 what? Million. Dallas four million, five hundred thousand dollars. Dallas. Yeah. Yes. What else have you done for the ex-president? Um, Farato Farm. What work, did, what work did you do there? Uh, fencing. I did the fencing. When was this? 2000, I think, 11, 12. 20, 2011, 2012. Um, 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 to be honest, I forgot. Did you the... sign a contract? Yes. Okay. Mm. We expect to see the contract. Mm. What else? So far, that's what I can recall. That's what you can recall. I'm yeah. sure your records will help you yeah, yeah. determine how much contracts you have done. Yeah, exactly. Have you done private work for general budget? Oh, absolutely no. No. What about An Ansumana Tamba? No. Anyone else in the office of the president? Absolutely no. You've not done no, any other no works? One. No one. No one. Hmm. You were saying um, maybe it's the quality of the work that you did. That's why you, you had contracts without bidding. What was the first work you did for the office of the president? 
No, it was um, Buyam, Buyam Market. It was what? Buyam Market, Buyam. Buyam Market? Yes. Okay. What year was this? Uh, 2008 or nine. But Gum Works has the record because Gum Works uh, was the. There was a Gum Works contract. Yeah, Gum. Yeah, supervising body. So you are registered with Gum Works. As yeah, a as a at contract. That time, yes. What class contract are you registered? Absolutely, I don't remember. You don't remember your class. With Gum Works, it's, it's long time since you know I I, I had job with Gum Works. The la mm. I don't think the last five years. So I would not know how. What class contractor is Competence Company Limited? What are you classified as for government contracts? Uh, class B. Class B. Mm -hmm. What is your limit? My limit. Yes, in terms uh, of class B, what sort of I, contract can I, you? It can go up to fifty million. Above fifty million. Mm -hmm. You have a you have a license, class B classification. A document that says you're classified as class B contract. Uh, I don't. What, what's your answer, sorry? Do you have or don't you have? I didn't get your answer. What? Say it again. Do you have any document that shows your classification? No, no, no. You don't have? No, no. All right. Um, you received um, from the International Gateway account in 2014. Mm. May 2014, the sum of $3,421,462 is equivalent of $85,880. Mm -hmm. Since all these contracts that you tendered, Exhibit 70, 71, and 72 were already executed according to their terms, what contract were you doing when you were paid this amount, $3,421,462? Mm. If I recall well, that was in connection to Justice Department. No, the Justice Department, the extension, did you say? Yes. There was an extension in 2014, as late as 2014? Uh, 2014. Yes, 10th May 2014. You received this amount into your trust bank account. Yes. And Justice and Department contract, um, yes. Mr. Sawane, um, was in uh, 30, on 31st July 2013. 2013. Yes. But it continued. And the advance payment was supposed to be 40 percent, I think, mm -hmm. um, according to the conditions of contract that are attached. Mm -hmm. It couldn't have been advanced payment mm. because this is a contract that started 31st July 2013. 2013. You can't remember. All right, we, we have asked you to provide a list of all payments and in regard to which contract. Okay. According to the, this contract, the works may be commenced on the 31st July 2013 and mm. shall be completed 29th November 2013. So money you received on 10th May 2014 cannot be for this contract. Mm -hmm. But we are giving you an opportunity to yeah, list I, all your payments and come back anyway. Yeah, yeah I will do that because uh, most of the, the three contracts, they were all going, you know, together simultaneously. I had, you know, I started with the Justice Department and by the time, you know, we finished that one, we, we started, you know, battle flat. And also within the same period, one year later, we started, you know, um, the former medical health. So obviously, you know, it is difficult to say, given the shortest period, because I was only called yesterday, uh, on, on Saturday, to be able to specify which payment, and especially if they are coming, you know, from the same account, well, it will be difficult to explain, you know, as to this payment, you know, for which contract. Did but you as, have as, to, as, mm. Mm? No, go on. 
Yeah, but as you said, I will I will provide you the the, the documents for you know, all these payments. According to the documents that you've ad, um, tendered here, mm -hmm. the the Republican National Guard contract was in August 2012. Mm -hmm. The Renovation of battery flats is December 2012. 2012. And yes. the justice contract is in July 2013. 2013. So these contracts, according to these documents, were not done simultaneously. Well, but. Did you, <laughs> let me just ask you, did you have to invoice? Did you have to submit invoices? Yes, yes of course. Okay. So, um, and the invoices you would have to specify for which contract? Yeah, yeah, yes. Did you have a payment certificate system? Did you have? Did they, somebody had to certify the work before you were paid? Yes, yes. Okay. You know, um, for Battle Flat and Republican National Guard headquarters, um, normally we, it was uh, the Taiwanese, you know, government that was paying. So I will invoice, you know, to the Secretary General and the letter will be sent to ROC embassy. But of course, at that time, you know, you know I said for Republican Guard, General Baji, you know, supervised most of it. But then I was attached, you know, to Suleiman Jami. They call him Jilanko. You know, he was the one, you know, supervising, you know, day to day, you know, as to what kind of job, you know, we execute. And once we finish, you know, he will certify it. Certify it not in the sense that he will write, but when I when it is completed, he will, you know, come over and check, and then he said it's okay. Then I will invoice the secretary general. Then they will uh, do the arrangement, and the money is paid. So we would, uh, um, since you have said you invoice, these are all documented. So it shouldn't hmm. be difficult to. Yeah, absolutely. The, yes. To, to yes. confirm which payments are for which contract, yes. which we would like you to do. Yeah, I would. So do at that. this stage, we would. Uh, when would you? How long do you need to put together all your documents with regard to maybe, all these payments? Maybe, yeah, maybe to Friday. To Friday. Mm -hmm. So right. Um, I'll ask the commission to adjourn to Monday. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. you provide the documents you have. Okay. to the investigators by Friday latest, mm -hmm. and you'll come back to this commission on Monday. On Monday, okay. And keep copies of whatever you give the investigators mm -hmm. Okay. for this commission. Do right. you understand? Yes. Mr. Chairman, those are the questions that I have for Mr. Sawane for today. Very well, Mr. Sawane, you may go. Thank you. Mm. I call the Permanent Secretary of Finance, Mr. Jallo. Mr. Jalo, we just want to remind you that you're still on the oath, reminding you of the oath. All right, you can have to say. Mr. Jalo, you were summoned with regard to the Mahindra tractors. Yes. Okay. Um, could you tell us the... My, the Mahindra Tractors, was it a loan or a grant? Uh, it was a loan. This was a line of credit uh, signed on the 8th of November 2005 between the government of the Gambia and the Exim Bank of India. 
Uh, you want me to give some details? Yes. Do you have the loan agreement? Mm. Do you yes. have the documents? Yes. Yes. All right. Um, if you can take them out, and then you can give the commission the details. What, to, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to, uh, Mr. Jalo, we are going to compile all the documents that are relevant to your testimony today. Okay. And you tell the, the, so that we can tender them in a bundle. Helpful. So uh, you are telling us, tell, tell the commission about this loan facility. Uh, <clears throat> the loan was signed on the 8th of November 2005 between the two governments of the Gambia and uh, the Exim Bank of India. Uh, the loan amount uh, was... Uh, 6.7 million US dollars and was meant to finance the purchase of goods mainly from India. Uh, purchase of? Uh, goods and these goods are components of uh, equipment that we are used to assemble tractors and, and, and trailers. Uh, the interest rate on the loan was 1.75% uh, per annum and uh, was is supposed to mature in 20 years from the date of forced disbursement, that is in 2006. Uh, the loan had a grace period of five years. So you said it was to mature in 20 years? In 20 years, yes. From the? Date of forced disbursement. Okay. Uh, the main supplier was uh, Mahindra and Mahindra Limited. Uh, so far, the total disbursements of the loan is uh, Five million eight hundred and thirty three seven hundred and twenty five uh, five million eight hundred and thirty three thousand and seven hundred and thirty five twenty five dollars uh, US dollars. So the total disbursement is five point eight million dollars. So the total disbursement? Yes, it means that the total amount withdrawn from the loan is uh, five point eight. It means that the loan has not been fully utilized. It housed uh, about 866,000 US dollars unutilized from the 6.7 million dollars. Wasn't there a period for utilization of the loan? Yes, there were, yes, there is. You, sa you said the loan. Okay. Uh, the total repayment of the, <coughs> of the principal as at October 2007 stands at uh, two million dollars nine hundred three thousand three hundred and thirty three this is the repayment of the principal to date and the interest payments uh, that has been paid so far stands at seven hundred and sixty thousand and four hundred and fifty six u s dollars Uh, actually, everything has been paid by uh, the end. As of today, we have uh, settled all the uh, maturing interest and principal amounts. Yes, what I mean is how much would, would it cost us? Would, it, would these tractors, this Yes, from now against the time of uh, the maturity of the loan itself. I'm sure you can calculate, you'll be able to calculate that. It's difficult to do it from, from here. No, no, I don't expect you. If you haven't done it already, I don't expect you to do it where you're sitting. But it's something you can calculate for the commission. Yes. All right, thank you. What documents do you have regarding... Tell is us the, all the documents that you have. It's the loan agreement and the debt service payments for the... So this is the loan agreement, and this bundle which says request, request for foreign exchange export. Yeah, those are the these transaction are, and documents. payment vouchers. You describe these as what? Yes, the transaction documents, yeah. Sorry? The transaction documents. These are the transaction documents. Yes. And what they comprise are? Payment vouchers and the supporting documents. Payment vouchers and supporting documents. Mm -hmm. And this last envelope? 
I guess that's the principle. I separated the two. The? I separated the interest payments and the principal payments. Export Import Bank of India, Exim Bank of India. Dated the 8th of November 2005. Who was Minister of Finance at the time? Uh, Signed by. I think Balaji. Sorry, Mr. Chairman, I'm trying to look for the execution page. Hmm. The execution page seems to be missing. Can you show the witness, please? Show the witness. Show the witness. Please confirm that that copy is complete. Your page. You yes. know the, yes. You can see that. Yes. Um, it would be what? difficult to admit a loan agreement, uh, an agreement of any kind actually, without the signature page. Would you like to yes, yeah. I'll, be given I'll... an opportunity to look for it again? Yes, yes. Other government offices might have copies. Okay. Um, sorry, Mr. Chairman, I'd have to withdraw my application and um, give the witness an opportunity to um, look for the documents. Um, Mr. Jalo, I'll have to return these so that you can try and com get us a complete copy of the of the agreement okay um, you said these were components of tractors oh, not sorry components of goods yes? yes what could you be more specific as to the type of goods? so what i think it must be it must be. I guess it's born again. Could you could you check your records properly? Okay. Anyway, when we have the signature page, I suppose we will know. What was the involvement of the office of the president? No, I, have, <coughs> I have very limited knowledge about it. But you have your file. You are the permanent secretary at the moment. Sorry. You have your file at the office. Yes. At your I, office. I, yes. I, just, I assume that you have checked the records yes, regarding uh, this matter. I just I have one here with me. This is from the Maintenance Services Agency and is addressed to Permanent Secretary Minister of Who of Works. Uh, what is that? What is that? The, uh, the Office of the President made a request of uh, 224 tractors. They, made, they ordered that. And then the, the MSA uh, were able to supply 120 and they had a balance of 104 to, to deliver. So that was an, uh, an update that the Maintenance Services Agency uh, sent to the Ministry of Works at the time. What date is that? This is 26 June 2007. Okay, can I have that document? I won't apply to tender it, but I'll keep it for when you come back so we can tender everything in a bundle. Could you um, probably bring, I think you should bring your whole file with regard to this matter. We will, if, if you can um, do that by Wednesday, so we will see whether there is anything else that would be useful for the commission. Okay. If you will copy and return your file. Okay. All right. Um, this is, could you also check in your file how this whole facility started? how it was initiated and what it was what the purpose was okay um, let me just ask you in regard to loans of this nature what is the normal procedure 
in um, uh, the procedure is to if uh, we will first and foremost uh, this has to be initiated by by a particular government institution and uh, once the uh, the project proposal is initiated then it is sent to the Ministry of Finance uh, then finance will use that uh, project proposal to seek for funding it can be bilateral or multilateral funding uh, and once uh, financing has been offered then we, as we assess the concessionality of the funding itself or financing if we are satisfied with it then we can initiate the, the loan negotiation um, are in such a loan supposed to be ratified by the National Assembly? Yes. Did this loan go for ratification to the I'll National to, Assembly? I'll have to confirm, but normally, uh, uh, um, sorry, all loans that we contract externally are ratified, but I can confirm whether this particular facility was, was ratified. Thank you. I um, would like you to be able to confirm that. And if it was ratified, there would be an instrument of ratification. Would there not be? Yes, there will be. And the instrument of ratification would be deposited where? With the, with the we, we will have you would a have copy. a copy in yeah, your we'll files. Have a copy, yeah. All right. We would appreciate you also confirming that. Okay. All right. Mr. Chairman, these are the only questions I have from the PS Finance this morning. You will be required to come back on Thursday and to also produce their file on Wednesday to, to the Secretariat. All right, you may go. Thank you. That's all we have for this morning, Mr. Chairman. So next well. time. We'll rise and Thank you. we'll be back at uh, half past two.